The worst investment I ever made? <laughs> How long do you have? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I've made some very bad ones, but that doesn't really bother me. I, I, you know, it uh, may bother the shareholders, but that's another question. <laughs> the, uh, you know, you're going to make you're going to make mistakes in life. I mean, uh, there's no question about it. You don't want to make them on the big decisions. You know, who you marry and so, some things like that. So there's no way I'm going to make a lot of business and investment decisions without making some mistakes. I may try to minimize them. I, I don't I don't dwell on them at all. I don't I don't look back. Uh, the biggest mistakes are the ones that actually don't show up. They're the mistakes of omission rather than commission. We've never lost that much money on any one investment. Uh, uh, but it's the things that I knew enough to do that I didn't do. We have, we have missed profits of as much as, you know, maybe $10 billion in things that I knew enough to do and I didn't do. Now, the fact I didn't buy Microsoft way back uh, is not a foregone opportunity because I didn't know enough to make that decision. But there have been other investments where I didn't know enough to make the decision and for one reason or another I either didn't do it at all or I did it on a small scale I was sucking my thumb when I should have been writing checks you know basically and <laughs> and, and you know those don't show up you know, there's no place where it shows missed opportunities but I've I've missed some big ones the triumphs in life are, are partly triumphs because you know that everything isn't going to be a triumph and and, and uh, I, I would never get too hung up on mistakes. I know a lot of people that really agonize over them and, and it, it, it just isn't worth it. I mean, tomorrow's another day and you live it forward and just go on to the next.